Cloudy. What up, my dudes? I'm going to maybe help a kid out with his car. Uh, Taylor said a guy broke down at their work, and there's like a guy there and he needs help. So I'm gonna see if I can utilize my expertise that I don't have to help him. It's so bright outside. Does it get better? No, it does not. This is the current situation of the Miotter. Uh, so bright. <laughs> so obviously I'm not in the Miata and um, the reasoning in that is because it stopped running. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. It was running perfect. I had it running perfect. Everything was fine. There was no noises, blah, blah, blah. But uh, all of a sudden it stopped running. I went to wash it at the car wash. I obviously have got something wet that shouldn't be wet and it's caused the car to stop running. I don't know what happened. All the fuses are fine. Nothing is blowed. Um, I don't know. Something's just, I've done everything. I've checked all the plugs. I've unplugged, plugged stuff back in. Even stuff that, you know, normal stuff, like normal Miata stuff, like that would get wet and would cause me out of not to run. I check those. Everything is fine. Anyway, so yeah, uh, <clears throat> I have no idea what could be wrong. I went through the ringer and unplugging sensors, plugging them back in, make sure everything was dry. Um, the fuel, uh, the power to the fuel rails, uh, the plug was soaked. Uh, I thought that might have been the problem. I tried to, you know, dry it as best I could. And, uh, but yeah, I still couldn't get it to run. So my friend, uh, I don't know if he wants me to say his name on here, but anyway, my friend towed me with a tow strap back to my house. And that's where the Miata's sit. And I ran the battery dead trying to get it to crank, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. And now it sounds weird when you try to crank it. <laughs> So I, I have no idea what's wrong with it and so uh, but luckily We heard that our SUV was getting done finally uh, So and so to have it and not a new transmission I have a used transmission put in it. Hopefully it's all go well, and then we'll be able to Get that back and then I'll be able to drive this which is the little Honda That we've had for God knows how long and as long as we've had my TL. We've had my TL longer, but we've had it just about the same amount of time. But anyway, uh, I'll be able to drive that. We'll be stress-free from vehicles braking all the time, and uh, I will be able to legitly put the Miata as a project car instead of trying to daily drive a project car that's not finished. And we can go from there. But uh, And then I would be able to get back to work on my TL. I believe it's either going to need a motor or some motor work done. Uh, we haven't looked into it, um, but what had happened to my TL is it sucked up a bunch of water because it has a cold air intake, and it's not in the. It's probably not in the proper position because it's like in the like at the vent of the bumper, and water just came through the vent of the bumper because I'd hit a puddle that you know flooded the earth back when you know Noah was around and it sucked up a bunch of water and now I have uh, a knocking motor and so yeah maybe it'll be able to get fixed soon because I do miss driving my TL it was a really nice car and uh, especially in the winter and the summer because that heat and AC and heated seats and stuff like that so uh, I do miss driving that car but nonetheless it'll be back on the road this summer hopefully and it looks like that is the car that's broke down the Taylor wants me to come check out well on the unfortunate side we couldn't get it to run <laughs> so we are towing it home unfortunately and if you guys are wondering, look, there's my little car.
that car is unfortunately knocking this car won't run it doesn't have a spark it fixed the fuel issue i don't know something happened it's for sale <laughs> i'm tired of it <laughs> it stayed last time i used it i told this whole thing home once already how far was it it was from the car wash <laughs> See, I have faith, bro. I did it last time. <laughs> Dylan doesn't trust, you know, the uh, tow strap. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a good tow strap. It worked last time. Just hook it to it, bro. I'm going to be your brake. Kids, don't do this at home. Uh, you're not supposed to do this. It just, falls it just falls off. It doesn't just fall off. You knocked it off. Look, just because you let it come off <laughs> put some uh <laughs> put some uh tension on it <laughs> this turned out to be a fantastic video thank you guys for joining me on this um lovely adventure um that i hate uh unfortunately I'm probably going to sell this car because uh, I need a reliable transportation to get to work, and this is not it. Perfect. And right. uh, it does. <laughs> does and Subscribe for more content like this because I'm probably not going to sell this because I make this bad decisions in my life some really bad decisions so i'm probably going to keep this car and it is going to keep breaking down over and over and over and then over and then what do you think one more time one more time over again so <laughs> follow us <laughs> this this is what it's like to be towed home with a tow rope on a with a nissan altima and when your miata breaks down on better news, my hood is in the back seat of his car, so like I finally got my hood. So I'm gonna finally put my hood on, even though like I don't need it right now. <laughs> Yay!